AKT Downstream Signaling. Now let's take a look at the downstream signaling that takes place once AKT has been phosphorylated at threonine 308 and serine 473. Active AKT phosphorylates a large number of downstream substrates that can be grouped by their effects on protein synthesis, survival, proliferation, glucose metabolism, neuroscience, and other cellular effects. It should be noted that this is a representational diagram and not a complete list of AKT substrates. We will now take a closer look at each of these target groups. Effects on Cell Proliferation and Survival AKT promotes cell proliferation by inhibiting a number of cell cycle inhibitors. AKT targets in this group include FOX01, 3, and 4, MIT1, P27 KIP, P21 SIP, and WE1. IFIC analysis showing inhibition of the transcription factor FOX01 by AKT in iGrove 1 cells is shown here. iGrove 1 cells are a human ovarian adenocarcinoma cell line. FOX01 rabbit monoclonal antibody, product number 2880, has been labeled green. Actin filaments have been labeled red with DY554 phylloidin. Treatment with LY294002 results in PI3K inhibition and inactivation of AKT. FOX01 remains active and enters the nucleus to activate transcription. Note nuclear localization of green signal with LY294002 treatment. With insulin treatment, AKT becomes active, resulting in the phosphorylation and inhibition of FOX01. Inhibition of FOX01 results in nuclear export and inhibition of transcription factor activity. Note cytoplasmic staining of green signal in this panel. AKT also promotes cell survival through phosphorylation and inhibition of a number of pro-apoptotic proteins. Targets in this group include BAD, BAX, BIM, FOX01, 3, and 4, and MDM2. IFIC analysis was performed showing cellular localization of FOX03A and SHSY5Y cells. SHSY5Y cells are a neuroblastoma cell line. FOX03A rabbit monoclonal antibody, product number 2497, has been labeled green. Actin filaments have been labeled red with alexaflor 555 phylloidin. DNA has been labeled blue with DRAC5. Upon IGF-1 treatment, AKT is active, and FOXO3A is phosphorylated and inhibited, resulting in a cytoplasmic localization of green signal. With LY294002 treatment, PI3K inhibition leads to AKT inactivation, resulting in active FOXO3A that localizes to the nucleus. Effects on Protein Synthesis AKT promotes protein synthesis by acting as a major regulator of mTOR. The mammalian target of rapamycin mTOR is a serine threonine protein kinase present in two distinct complexes. mTORC1, which consists of mTOR, Raptor, and G-beta-L, also called MLST8, is inhibited by rapamycin and functions to promote mRNA translation, transcription, and cell growth when energy conditions are favorable. AKT signaling activates mTORC1 and thus promotes protein synthesis through inhibition of TSC2 and PRAS40, both of which downregulate mTOR activity. The second mTOR complex, mTORC2, consists of mTOR, Richter, G-beta-L, and SYN1, and is insensitive to rapamycin. This complex functions upstream of AKT, providing the critical second phosphorylation of AKT at serine-473, which is necessary for AKT activation. Shown here are three western blots depicting AKT as a regulator of mTOR. The western blot on the left features extracts from serum-starved 293 cells, untreated or EGF-treated, 
using Phospho mTOR serine 2448 antibody, product number 2971. EGF treatment results in the increased phosphorylation of mTOR at serine 2448. Note levels of total mTOR using mTOR antibody, product number 2972, remain unchanged. EGF signals through the EGF receptor to activate AKT. The Middle Western Blot analyzes extracts from serum-starved HeLa cells, untreated or treated with insulin or insulin plus phosphatase, using Phospho-Pras-40-3-246, rabbit monoclonal antibody, product number 2997. Insulin treatment results in increased phosphorylation of PRAS-40 at threonine-246. Note levels of total PRAS-40 using PRAS-40 antibody, product number 2610, remain unchanged. Also note increased phosphorylation with insulin treatment disappears when also treated with phosphatase. Insulin signals through the insulin receptor to activate AKT. The western blot to the right shows extracts from NIH 3T3 cells, phosphatase or PDGF treated, using phosphotuberin TSC2 threonine-1462 rabbit monoclonal antibody, product number 3617. PDGF treatment results in increased phosphorylation of tuberin TSC2 at threonine-1462. Note levels of total tuberin TSC2 using tuberin TSC2 antibody, product number 3612, remain unchanged. Phosphatase treatment eliminates phosphorylation in the basal state, similar to serum starvation. PDGF signals through the PDGF receptor to activate AKT. AKT and autophagy. mTOR is an important regulator of autophagy induction. Autophagy is the catabolic process that results in the autophagosomic lysosomal degradation of bulk cytoplasmic contents. In other words, during autophagy, the cell uses the lysosome and autophagosome to degrade worn out, unused, or non-vital organelles or other cellular components. Autophagy is generally activated by conditions of nutrient deprivation, but has also been associated with physiological processes such as development, differentiation, neurodegenerative diseases, infection, and cancer. mTOR is an inhibitor of autophagy. Because of this, PI3K AKT signaling, which activates mTOR, is also an inhibitor of autophagy. Therefore, treatments that inhibit AKT signaling, such as LY294002, promote autophagy.